what about, I don't know to talk to you about this. I thought this was really interesting when we go like the other this far. What about the Facebook and Twitter pages? <coughs> what about that? Think about what you put on those things. Think about it. Mm -hmm. Do you put all your flaws, all your negative things? I and mean, we do some negative things. Mm -hmm. We do. Twitter is the for some of that. You know? Yeah. Well, yeah. <laughs> but we, generally, we choose, pick and choose things that we want people to know about us, things that make us either attractive or... Uh, uh, the highlights. Uh, highlights. Yeah. Not, not, you know, even the low lights, too. So I talk a lot about funerals online because, uh, hell, I know a lot of people are dying, unfortunately. Fortunate for them. You know, God rest their souls. Um, but think about that. If we do that on Facebook, don't you think we'd probably do that in real life? Huh? We don't let people see the... We don't let people see the real you. You don't. Hell, half the time I think you don't know who the real you is. I really don't think so. I don't think any of, I think any of us really get down to the nitty gritty because we don't let ourselves do that. We don't look at ourselves and get deep and go there. I talk about it all the time. The clouds have got to lift sometime. The fog has got to go away. It's going to burn off. And what are you going to see in front of you when that happens? When all of your blockings, your brick walls, your ices, your everything else you put in front of your heart and soul is gone, are you going to know that person? Think about it. You're going to like that person. Mm -hmm. Is that person going to be something you can live with? Because if it's not, you need to change it. Because when that ice melts around your heart, because you've been hurt so many times, and the brick and cinder block walls come crumbling down because you've been afraid to let others in, and the barbed wire fences are cut, who will be standing there? I don't know who I am. I don't know what I stand for. I don't know what I believe in. And if I try and say something, I'm probably going to be half alive because I don't know if it's true or not. Because I really don't know. I'm too busy worried about other things. Too busy worried about money and sex and, and who's got this and who's got that instead of minding my own business and worrying about who I am rather than who's got what.